All right, here we are in a beautiful Andes, Texas day, looking at a very special car. We're actually handling several cars in a collection, and uh, we're down here for several days handling about 11 cars. We've handled several before. This particular car, we've been able to do a few of them indoors for the video portion, but we shot it outside this morning early. Really fun car, neat car with a good history. The Reed Brothers 31 Model A Hot Rod Coupe. This particular car's got a really cool history. Um, it was built by Collins Custom Craft out of Austin, Texas. It's got a cool story for the Reed Brothers. There's no way I'm going to be able to cover the, cover the whole story, but the basis of it is, is that the two brothers, one brother had uh, actually done the Great American Race in this actual car in its stock format in like 1999. Then the brothers got together and decided they were going to restore it to a hot rod status and relive some of their 60s. Anyway, bottom line is uh, they got it all apart into pieces and uh, uh, Jack, the one brother, had passed away and uh, the other brother went on to finish it with Collins Custom Craft out of Austin. And this car is a very high-end build, professional build. Collins Custom Craft uh, actually was a, a legendary d guitar designer too um, and a hot rod builder. So g designed guitars, built guitars for a lot of rock guys and then uh, actually built had a hot rod shop too so a lot of his design is in it his crest is on the steering wheel that kind of thing but we're going to come over here and we're going to kind of share a quick little we've got the magazine on the hood here it's uh, number 70 issue number 76 and here's the car right here so you know we are actually the owner will get the new owner will get a copy of this particular book it goes through the whole story of the car but this actual body uh, did the great american race like in 98 99 and then it sat for several years and then uh, they got together like the story said and, and did the uh, uh, the restoration on it and then the restoration was finished in tribute to the other brother so it's Ralph's uh, car uh, they had it done in memory of his brother Jack they were actually in the process so a lot of a lot of the artwork and stuff but this is a very well designed car we're gonna go through and cover what we know and there's a lot in the magazine here I've got my cheat sheet here. I'm going to try and cover as much as I can. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off the hood. I wanted to make sure you knew that up front. There's a lot of body modifications to this car. They're so subtle that they're, you know, when body modifications are done right, you can't tell. Um, the actual factory visor has been shortened and molded seamlessly into the body. You look at the doors here. If you know, Model A's had. Uh, body fit doors in other words they weren't flush fit they actually overlap the body these are recessed doors on it so they're more like a you know later model like a 32 I could go on with all the body modifications on it 32 grill shell louvered hood here underneath the hoods a uh, 350 Chevy with uh, tri-power Stromberg 97's on it Corvette script valve covers Tedious, high-level, very high-end restoration on this car. When you see the uh, spec sheet that I put up on Spud's Garage, there'll be so much to cover. Um, I'm going to get my little cheat sheet out here so I make sure I didn't misstate the engine. It is a 350. It's got a GM 204R automatic overdrive transmission in it. It's a 350 CID small block with 9.0 9 to 1 compression ratio. I was right. It has a hard soft class roof filled uh, or uh, insert in the roof here look at the finish on this car a lot of nickel plating on this car all the trim here the windshield garnish moldings are actually nickel plated this door handles nickel plated you can see a lot of the items this these wheels are custom one-off wait till we get it up on the lift 32 deuce rails uh, section boxed has a super bell dropped axle on the front. It has 46, uh, you can see all the nickel plating. This uh, front hairpin here is actually a uh, 36 Ford rear bone that's been custom modified and then nickel plated. You'll see all the nickel plating here. Custom dish smooth wheels, dirt track style car tires on it, front and rear. The backing plates are all custom modified with these custom vents here. We actually cover some time on that louvered so it picks up some air in the front brakes. They're 46 Lincoln. You'll see the uh, headlight here. It says Collins Custom, Collins Custom Craft on it. 
been a long day I'm hot and tired so uh, I might twist my tongue a little bit you'll see the markers are in the headlamps here deuce grill shell but they went to a full authentic style 60s style hot rod step back and let you take a feel here outside the photo shoot this morning was just super fun what a neat car um, cars like this has got a uh, high mount water pump on it which is the right way to do it because you can edit put the fan up high I like the hood straps that hold the hood down see the cloth uh, spark plug wires here MSD ignition Stromberg tri power I know I already said that these exhausts are custom made and custom designed it's got actual cutouts here where you can unplug them and open up the headers here wow. but it's the subtle modifications that you see that you just you know they, they look so seamless that you never even think about them look at the reflections in the paint here I love the nickel plating on the front end. Nice little peep mirrors that are tucked in nice. Those had to be kind of handmade. Had to be. I've never seen them that tight. It's a uh, the leather interior here as I fumble along here. There's no way I'm going to remember everything like I said. I'm going to cover as much as I can. Here's the Colleen, uh, Colleen's Custom Craft uh, Crest, which is actually, this is the door release lever. I'll show you here got a bomber style leather interior I was going to try and read that to you what kind of interior it is uh, what kind of leather it is it's a henna and yellow birch leather upholstery car was built in Austin Texas got a custom turn metal dash insert Stuart Warner wing gauges German square weave carpet look at the fit of the carpet here German square weave carpet up underneath the dash. It's tidy. It's got a hidden switch up there. I had to figure out how to start it. Seat belts on it. This leather's got a really nice bomber style feel to it. Again, we photographed it outside, so you're going to be able to get true color. Headliners the same way. Share some of the door jams here with you. Ford 9 inch rear differential. Again, we'll have all the specs, uh, the specs at Spuds Garage. Gotta love those Firestone uh, tires on the back. The car just sits just right. See the nickel plating? The doors, look at the fit there. Step back and let's see if I can get back far enough to kind of give you the stance of this girl. Wow. You can see those reduced rails like I talked about. It's got a two inch chop on the roof, which is just right. It's not too much. It looks just right. Again, I told you I'd probably miss some stuff because you can't really even notice it. It's so uh, subtle. It has a really neat Nerf bar style bumper in the back here. I like the quad exhaust on the back. It's actually uh, split at the tail there goes out to four it's got a neat sound to it we'll fire it up for you we'll actually have that entire article posted at Spud's garage we're gonna go ahead and open up the deck lid here got a custom uh, latch on the deck lid here there we go you'll see the henna leather interior float all the way through the back the same seam this is a custom built and designed gas tank. Look at this uh, fuel fill combination. Here's the sender wires are all cloth wires. Look at the reflections there. Kind of neat video I'm indoors here because you really get a good feel um, of the texture and uh, uh, the straightness of the panels. Right behind me is a 58 Impala that we're going to have at Spud's Garage one of the 11 cars out of this collection depends on which way what time what which way the camera catches the light here you can see it adjust this 
Kurtz just got cool hot rod style. I'll show you how those uh, interior door latches work. You just uh, lift these up. On the, you don't have to do it, that's from the inside obviously, it's got an exterior door handle that's functional, but just to kind of give you an idea. So subtle, even the horn ring has got their crest on it, the Collings crest on it. Salt flat style steering wheel, look at the pedals. A lot of time, money spent building this car. You can see the controls here. Wish I could cover more for you, but I'd, I'd spend 30 minute video covering every detail on it and it's better that we'll send you to Spud's Garage and I'll list everything by category as it's posted in the magazine. And uh, car's got about 200 and some odd miles on it. We're going to get in here. Two hundred seventy-seven miles. I drove it a couple miles, just getting a feel for the car. I like this platinum or champagne lower dash here. There's actually a switch underneath the dash here that turns on the ignition. This is a uh, release shifter, low car style, but it's got the crest on it. in. We'll spend some time up on the lift with you. Other than that, you pretty much got the whole video here with a lot of time covering this car. I took a lot of photos. So you'll want to go to Spud's Garage and look at some of the still photos on it. Sit back and let's take one more feel at it. We'll invite you in. Look at the clutch fit. If you want a real hot rod with great history, go to spudsgarage.com. Thanks for listening to me. Have a great day. All right, let's take a look at this 31 up on the lift. This car is really, really sweet. Uh, I'm going to walk underneath and kind of just give you a feel of what we got and uh, share it with you. We took a lot of still photos at Spuds Garage for you to take a look at. Uh, had a fun time photo shooting this car gonna do a little uh, cover the chassis and all the way forward back to front for you basically yeah, it's got a custom uh, roll pan on the back here that's very beautiful it's got a uh, Ford 9 inch rear differential with a 370 ratio in it shortened to about 48 inches I'm operating off of memory and looking at the specs that I had uh, it has uh, Ford 11 inch drum brakes in the rear backing plates and everything underside is painted uh, body color including the the frame itself is finished like the body in a high quality show finish and then a matte finish on the floor pans. Uh, quarter elliptical springs in the back here, I believe those are posies. Uh, it has uh, custom made uh, rear swing arms here, if you want to call them that. They're, they're made from 36 wishbones that have been split. It's cool old school style, custom made. A lot of the custom chassis and st things were done by Collings. And, uh, Pinky's Rod Shop had a little bit to do with the chassis on it, and we're going to have all the specs at Spud's Garage, so we'll cover all that. But I like the uh, uh, the way this car is put together. They had a custom panel put in the back to make it look like an early Ford. Um, you'll see a lot of the detail or polished stainless lines, cloth wiring, uh, stainless exhaust, custom made stainless exhaust, and then again the Posey Springs here. 
Uh, moving forward here, trans cooler here. This is a, uh, uh, these are 32 Ford rails is what they are. They've been step boxed, it's been sectioned in the front, um, narrowed basically. And uh, here's the master cylinder here. They've added an X frame made out of C channel. Really neat. I like the way they did these 36 bones and split them back here. Uh, they actually did the same thing with the front. Um, we go up front here. These front uh, radius arms or trailing arms basically, uh, or hairpins is what we should call them. Um, they're custom made also from uh, a uh, 36 uh, rear wishbones off a of 36 Ford. And then they have a custom built uppers here. It has a uh, super bell dropped axle in the front with all polished stainless uh, components. But the whole frame has been step boxed here. Very nice. That's a uh, 204R automatic overdrive transmission in it. Bottom side of the uh, Chevy small block. These front backing plates are just really special. The plating on the on this car is just exceptional. It's got a nickel content to it. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, these back, these front disc brakes, or excuse me, disc brakes. These are. Uh, these front brakes are actually 46 Ford or 46 48 Ford drum backing plates, and they have uh, their drum brakes. Um, these are all custom built. These vents on it, they're louvered here, all hand built. You look at the uppers here, where it vented on top, both sides. It has a Posey uh, Super Slide spring in the front, just like the rear Posey springs, but this one's a plated one. Um, all nylon hardware, I mean uh, bushings here. Again, take a look at those backing plates, 46, 48 Ford. Has, uh, I'm trying to think who, uh, Pete and Jake said uh, spindles on it, early spindles. And again, I'm operating some from memory and some from what I know by looking at it. Uh, these wheels are all custom done. We probably covered some of this stuff uh, on the walk around video. I'm actually doing this before I do the walk around video. Neat how the exhaust goes through the frame here. Again, polished stainless lines. See the brake pedal there. That's a Willwood master cylinder. They've heat wrapped it here so the exhaust near the uh, master is not going to be an issue. Just front to back walk through. Again, Ford 9 inch with a uh, 370 ratio. Let me tell you, this is a pro build car to the nines. Beautiful car. A lot of time in engineering and uh, a lot of money to build a like, car like this, but uh, it shows the way they did the exhaust, the way it wraps up over. It's got a custom made panhard bar. Uh, you can see it up here. Chrome gas shocks, the panhard bar runs over to the top of the diff here. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea by now. I love the way the exhaust splits at the back and you have four exit. Um, we'll do one more pass through here. Hope you enjoy our videos. Hope you uh, give us a call. We're never any pressure. Go to spudsgarage.com. I got a lot of still photos for you to study on this one. All right, have a great day.